1671, Giovanni Cassini, the astronomer, discovers a moon near Saturn. Half is as dark as coal, the other half bright as snow. Three centuries later, Cassini, the spacecraft, flies by for a close look. We flew by Iapetus yesterday morning. The data coming down right now, I haven't seen. More importantly, the scientists sitting down here who are going to comment on it for you have not seen it either. <laughs> scientists have waited hundreds of years to see Iapetus close up. What does it mean that we will bring an object 100 times closer? There are two people standing there. You have to trust me. If you bring these people to three feet, which is a factor of 100 better in resolution, this is what you see. <laughs> that is how much closer we are going to get to Iapetus. We don't get opportunities like this to see the science come down in real time and, and just see the fruits of our work, you know, this, this quickly. I thought one of the most human moments was when we're all looking at this one image going, huh? Huh? You know, what are we looking at? And then it was flipped over. And everybody went, oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and it reminds you that when you're, when you're seeing something for the first time, you don't have a context. You don't even know which way is up. This ridge is very different than the types of things we see on Europa, for instance, where you have fractures. Look at this one. That looks like another landslide crater. Since then, Cassini scientists have had time to study the They'll images and crunch the numbers. We spent a lot of time over the light-dark boundary. It's never been seen at very high resolution before. Any bright stuff, such as water, that might have been mixed in with the dark stuff originally is going to evaporate out because the dark stuff is going to be warmer. And the ridge is something so unique to Iapetus and so interesting. It's very heavily cratered, which tells us that it's very old. Basically, we don't have all of our questions answered yet. There's a lot to still be learned about Iapetus. There's really nothing quite like discovery. Hello, this is Arthur Clarke. The Your gathering team. heard from one of Cassini's biggest fans, Arthur C. Clarke, who featured Iapetus in his I'm book 2001, A Space Odyssey. Thanks to the World Wide Web, I've been following the progress of Cassini Huygens. I've seen enough instances where nature imitates art, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed with what Cassini discovers at Iapetus. With fingers crossed and eyes wide open, scientists savor the joys of discovery at Iapetus. <laughs>